So, so if this was an Asian book, the title would be here. In the West, the title's here. So the, the cover is a, is a place for the title or the place to show you the, the beginning. So this and this look identical. So I chose to only do something on the front so I know that it's the front because this could be a front too. If I did something on the front and the back, then I could get confused because I don't tend to write online and label them with a title. So that serves as a marker. So generally these just have something on the front and not the back. That immediately tells me because this could be a front. You know, this yeah. could be easily yeah. a front. If you wanted to do something that is slightly different based on this one, remember this one I set this up from the beginning to be an east, what I call an east-west book. So this had an image on this that told me what it was, and this had the sort of a title on the front and the back. So this, so you can do something, I would not do the same thing on each side, but this told me that from this side it's the story of the paddle, from this side it's the story of the boat. So you can do something, but I would, so if you're going to do that, make sure that what you put on the front and the back is very different, like you were interested in your in the, this journal or doing it that way. So that's an option. So you can decide do you want it front, all from the front to the back, or to come in east-west. So these two just have something on the front. We have an end paper. In this case, the end paper goes all the way to the edge. You can have different amounts of what we call a reveal. So you can have... This, often what I do is I have you cut this piece so it's the size of the book board and it'll depend on your gluing. Because sometimes you've got some schmucks or something out here and so the end paper can cover all those mistakes if you happen to have any, nothing, if you're gonna have any. Or you can go, because we have that three quarters of an inch, you can all come in to right to the end of that paper if you want. That's, you, and so we have a paper cut that then we'll, once this is glued, will decide how, what it looks like and what you want to cut this down to. Traditionally, or I like often, like this has got an even reveal around it. Sometimes they have a, they're more along this line and they have a little more on these three sides as though they're sort of like centered into the spine a little. But all that is just something that you can think about when we get to the gluing. But you can think about, where's this one? So this one, these two have a piece of paper, and you, this is just ideas. You could glue multiple pieces of paper, and then it has something that was embroidered inside, and then after I bound it, I did some painting there. You can also have a piece of paper that is just doesn't need anything, that it's the piece of paper. You have some incredible papers, and it can be when you just cut like a little window out of it, it says everything, and it needs nothing more other than to be hand sewn down. That hands-on tactility is really nice to feel. So when you're looking at the papers, really look at them and see if you just need the paper and that's all you need. You might not need anything more. And But one thing that I haven't really done that much with is, okay, so I have something in the front. And so in this case, I also chose to do something on the back cover. So you can do something inside. It could just be stitching, depending. This was pretty busy, so I opted not to do anything. This is... This, oh, this is also a whole other thing. This is another example I did for this class. So this is one pattern. This is another pattern. So traditionally, books, the pattern is the same on both sides. That's the traditional way of working. Our, they, ours will not be identical because the paper is different, but these are from the same sheet. But you can also have something where what I did is I took, I made these two relate to each other, that this is one piece of paper, and then I took a piece of that, and put it on top of that, it also became the window for this. So it was a way of sort of relating together, but having two separate pieces. I think maybe I didn't have, sometimes you'll have paper that it just is really special, and I can't remember if it was due to logistics that I didn't have enough of this to do this one, but I wanted one, I don't honestly remember. But so, really it's up to you, whatever you want to do. The one thing we have to keep in mind is when we're going over the board, we have a thickness of the board. We're going to sand it, but we still that that has to go around. So we don't really want a whole lot of collage, collage stuff going around. That's just going to be hard to glue down and keep it to go around. So I'd like whatever you decide to do to be in the, the frame of the top and not go over the edges. So when I have my pieces of paper, so this is my cover, I can do whatever I want in that part of it. I don't want to really go beyond this or it would go around the edge. Sewing could, I guess. I've never done that. Sewing could. But collage paper will make it just tougher to go around the board. Does that make sense?
makes sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. And so in this case, so this is my outside and this is my inside. And so my back has a width that just may not bother other people, but it bothers me. And it only matters, and this is your book, if it bothers you, it bothers you. It doesn't matter if anybody else says it's beautiful and they say, oh, don't worry about it. If, you, if something resonates with you and you just don't like it, this is your opportunity to collage something over it. And so take it, you can take that as a creative impetus for your composition, or you can just say, oh, I just need to learn to live with it. And so in my case, um, I'm gonna put something over here. So I will choose something that, like this sort of echoes that, I think I'll cut a piece out of this. And so this will be glued on the back cover. That's the back cover. This is my front cover. That's what I've chosen to do. Yeah, that's the back cover. This seemed like it was more, this is the front cover. And so then these are the inside pieces. I have no more of this. I had just enough to cut it in half just barely to cover it. So I don't, I can't bring some of that in. Sometimes I like to do that where I bring a little bit of this inside here, or I could go, you know, and bring a whole nother color or something in here. Because it's really, it's, if you can, or the way I think of it, I think of this as my title. And in general, this is the image, you know, like when you get to, when you get a book, there's like sometimes a picture on it. So this is my picture and this is my title. And the title doesn't go all over the book. It usually has a, it, it sort of has a focus. So I think of this as a focus. So you could do a lot of collage, but I would think of, you know, in that collage, like that's what you're thinking of doing a lot of different pieces, of maybe having some little spots as a focus that you can think of as, the, even though it's not words, but it's like a title. And it's a, a place for your eye to go to. Yeah. 